Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to solve equations with decimals. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve a minus 4.75 equals a negative 1.39. Well, the addition property of equality states that if I take a number on one side, if I add that number to the other side, I'm allowed to do that. So if you want to eliminate the negative 4.75, I'm going to add a 4.75 to both sides. Now, this becomes a little difficult in a second. First, we have the negative 4.75 and 4.75. They cancel. We're good. A is all by itself here. A negative 1.39 plus a 4.75, that kind of be, is hard to do vertically. But isn't that the same thing as if I said 4.75 minus a 1.39? Remember, negative 1.39 plus a positive 4.75 is the same thing as 4.75, I can write that, minus a 1.39. Now that's a little easier to solve. 5 minus 9, well, can't do that. Let's draw from the 7. becomes a 6. Carry the 1. Now, 15 minus a 9 is a 6. 6 minus a 3 is a 3. And 4 minus 1 is a 3 as well. And it's a positive 3.36. So A here is a 3.36. Now, we got to check that. To check that, I rewrite my equation a minus a 4.75 equals a negative 1.39. We're going to substitute this 3.36 in for a and see if we can simplify. We want to see if the left and right hand side are equal. Now, again, 3.36 and a 4.75. We're subtracting the 4.75 and that's a larger number. So when we have that happening, we know our answer is going to be negative on the left hand side. So really what we want to do is find the difference between these two numbers and then put a negative on it knowing that it needs to be negative. So to do that we have 4.75 first minus a 3.36. From there we're subtracting Find the difference here. 5 minus 6 we cannot do. We got to draw from a 7. 7 becomes a 6. Carry the 1. 15 minus 6 is a 9. 6 minus 3 is a 3. And 4 minus 3 is a 1. So 3.36 minus 4.75 is a 1.39. Make sure we know that it's negative. And is that equal to a negative 1.39? Yes, it is. That check confirms that the solution to our equation is A equals 3.36. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with decimals. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.